Hi, welcome back. Today is day two of adding and sub subtracting fractions with like denominators. So let's talk a little bit about what we talked about yesterday. We talked about the two parts of a fraction. We have a numerator and a denominator. The numerator is the top number and the denominator is the bottom number. And remember, it's always good to remember that this is a division problem, numerator divided by denominator. And let's look, today we're just going to talk about how you would do this with subtraction. So let's look at a few problems here. 7 minus 3 is 4. So that will be our numerator. And we keep the denominator. So our answer here would be 4 eighths. So we're going to subtract the top and keep the common denominator. Okay, subtract the numerators, keep the denominator. Let's look at another one. Give you a second to look through that. Think about that in your own head. 9 minus 1 is 8. And you keep the 12. So you have 8 twelfths. It's really simple. Sometimes we get scared about fractions, but this is a very easy thing to do. Okay. Now I wanted to show you one other instance of what if this happens. So um, four, we're gonna subtract on the top, right? Four minus four is zero. And then we keep zero divided by five is zero. So we can actually simplify that a little bit more. Okay? So yeah, that's, that's all you have to remember to do. It's very similar to the adding one. Just remember that you're going to subtract on the top and keep the denominator. As long as it's a common denominator, you can keep it. Okay. Um, I hope that helps you to do your work and we will talk to you soon. Bye.